same old shit, just a different day. I'm clocking in and clocking out to keep the bills paid. Bills paid. At this nine to five, temporarily. If you're not trying to live your dream, we are not the same. Same old shit, just a different day. Really? Hey, I'm clocking and in welcome and to clocking another out. episode of Res View. And today I have somebody real special with me, my homeboy right here, the most honorable <laughs> DJ PM. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Pleasure to be here. Hey man, thank you for uh, joining me on today's edition, and we're gonna talk about something big. You know, it's the end of 2017. For sure. Going into 2018 strong, and this is the year in wrap up. Okay, okay let's drum. do it. Let's do it. All right, so you know we're gonna take some time and talk about what we felt as far as movies television that's right not just music but we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff for the culture as requested by my man dj pm that's so, right yeah so let's go ahead and get into it we're going to talk about the top albums of the year all right these are my top albums that i that i loved and i was listening to the whole time let me see what you got all right so what i got right now first one i both we both agree on this jay-z 444 he came in at a time when everybody, you know, some people like to count Jay-Z out all the time, but he came on some grown man stuff, you know what I'm saying, and, and laid, all, laid it all out, let it all go, you know what I'm saying? So we'll talk about him more, more later. Okay. Big Crit forever is a mighty long time. The homie. Mississippi Zone, you know what I'm Mississippi. saying? You know about Big Crit, all right? Mississippi. Yeah, that was one of the best albums, probably my favorite Big Crit album that I've heard from him. Next, we have Kendrick Lamar's Damn. Okay. You know, that was a big impact. And, you know, it, it sold the most. I think it was the highest selling hip hop album this year, 600K plus. You know I what I'm saying? That. I read yeah. that. Next, we have Rap Cities, Layla's Wisdom. All right? Okay. People didn't think that a female MC would be on my list, but now nah, I got you. I saw what Joe Budden and Charlemagne said. Both of them agreed that Rap City had a pretty good year with that album. Okay. It's dope. Uh, next, I have somebody who was slept on. Sai High the Prince, No Dope on Sundays. Liked it. Yeah, you liked it? I liked okay, it. Okay, you jammed it. All right. I liked it. Yeah, and what I can say real quick about Sai High, he hit me unexpectedly. I never was a Sai High the Prince fan before this, but when I heard it, like, I was like, you know, I was like, dang, I was astonished. Like, dang, like, I didn't even think he would make, make an album like that. But okay. I should have expected it. You should have known that since how he did all Kanye albums, but I mean, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but, you know, I, I just, I underestimated him, I yeah, guess, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And this is my last one. It snuck in on my list right towards the end of uh, 2017. If you're a true traditional R&B fan, you would like this. Drew Hill. Okay. That's right. Drew Hill's Christmas album called Christmas in Baltimore. Check it out on iTunes, Apple Music, Tidal. It'll fulfill your holiday season. But those are my top five, top six, I'm sorry, top six albums of the year. Who? What's your, okay, what's your my name? top five albums of the year. All right. In no particular order, except for number one being Jay-Z's 444. Okay. Right. Jay-Z's I mean, just, right here. man... The, it was just refreshing, man. You know, in the year of bullshit <laughs> music, I'm just being honest. You True. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of bullshit come out. I mean, don't get it wrong. As a DJ, I play it at jams in the club and give you that vibe. But I mean, yeah, it ain't nothing that make me think. It ain't no thought provoking shit. Right, so, right. Yeah. Four yeah. for four, man. It was a grown man album. Definitely. Like it was a grown man's album. It talked about a lot of different things. It talked about, you know, infidelities as well as like. Blacks coming together and stop competing against each other and let's get this money together. Dope as hell. I mean, he dropped a lot of jewels, a lot of gems, a lot of stuff I think young people especially needed to hear. Right. Um, my favorite bar from the from that whole album Lay it is, down. please don't die over the neighborhood that your mama's renting. Hey, man. man, if that ain't a real bar, dog, that was like, come on, man. Yeah. Uh, number two, well, not necessarily number two, but after that, I'm going to go Rick Ross's Rather You Than Me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, Rick yeah. Ross's ear for production is just crazy. It is. Like, I mean... Say what you like about the Officer Ricky stuff. The man can flat out rap, and he can pick a beat. I agree, man. Uh, Production uh, is crazy. I outside mean. of that, I agree. Big Crit. Yep. Forever is a, a mighty long time. All right, we three in. Okay. All right. All right so I, and I also agree, Sci High the Prince, No Dope on Sunday. I'm a long time Sci High fan, though. Like, I liked yeah. him when he dropped. Uh, God damn it, what's the name of that mixtape? The one with Mandela and all them tracks on there. Yeah. So I'm a long time Sci High the Prince fan. Yeah. But here's what we go. Okay, we go I gotta hear it, man. He's been kept it away five. from me. I gotta hear what he's saying on this. Who? My number five top album to me of the year was 21 Savage. Oh my God. And <laughs> the uh, Offset. Offset, oh, man, Metro uh, Woman? No, 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 without warning. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Metro yeah. Woman product, produced yeah, yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, let me just interject real quick. I'm not a 21 Savage fan. 
I'm not even an Offset fan, on but God. I All like right. I like his ad libs. Oh God, I, I like Offset though. And, yeah, you know what I'm saying like uh, I was seeing Charlemagne said that he you know he was jamming to it. I was working out the other day, right? And I was listening to it in the gym, and it's not bad. Nah, I'm, listen, man. As far as like collab albums, because you know we had a lot of collab albums this year with the Quavo, uh, Travis, Scott. Travis Scott, which mm-hmm. was trash, by the way, <laughs> absolute <laughs> trash. Yeah. The Metro Boom and Big Sean, which I'm not a fan of per se, even though I do like. Metro Boomin and I do like Big Sean separately. Yeah. That without warning yeah. was hard. And then the way they dropped it, like these niggas Beyonce or some shit. Yeah, like yeah, they just said. Yeah, fuck just it. out of nowhere just yeah. dropped it. That yeah. shit was hard. So okay. they're my top five albums. So that's a wild card. You know, that's that's pretty cool. You know, I I'm not gonna say too much. Like I said, I'm not 21 Seven fan, yeah. but I can see that. All 21, right. 21. So uh let's go to the next thing. Who okay. are the most slept on underrated artists this year? All right. Now this is what I feel again. Sci High the Prince okay. and Rhapsody. I okay. feel like Rhapsody, like I said, people didn't expect for me to put a female MC on my list. And uh, female MCs, besides like if you Nicki Minaj was like right, a right, gimmick right. and things, like they don't get the respect without talking about sex and exploring right, right. themselves. But Rhapsody came through on some conscious shit, and she sounded like a female version of Kendrick Lamar. Right. And Sci High the Prince again. I think people were counting him out, and he snuck in there. Like, I'm talking about towards the end of the year. Right. And when I heard it, I haven't heard rap like that in a minute. Like, metaphors and similes. That right, dude rapping right, like right. it's 2006 Lil Wayne a little bit. Here's why I'm not going to say Rhapsody. Rhapsody gets a lot of love from industry people. Not necessarily the masses, which I mean, it's the masses. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Rhapsody gets a lot of love from industry people from, like, the Breakfast Club to uh, Sway in the Morning. True. Like they, they, they rock with her a lot. Yeah. So I'm not going to say her. Here's my most slept on person. Okay. Big Crit. To me, Big Crit dropped again. One of the dopest albums this year. He was slept on by Def Jam. Dumbasses. Yeah. Right. He was slept on by the masses, in my opinion. I don't know if it's like his southern drawl or if it's that he from Mississippi or what. But to me, mm-hmm. Big Crit is my most slept on artist. The only reason I say he wasn't slept on is because Talk to I, I saw a lot of us. Yeah. A lot of people on my timeline sharing it. I didn't see a lot of Rhapsody. Right, 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 but right, you, right. But I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, I think that's just like the circles we travel right. in, though. Right. You know, I, yeah. you know I, I see I lived in New York and places like that. And so, you know, they own yeah. that whole Rhapsody wave. So. I feel you. But okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Crit. All right. It's good. All right. So this leads to my next thing. Okay. Talk and I only got one. All right, who was the most overrated? We said underrated. Who was the most overrated? Overrated? Overrated. So I only have one person. <laughs> That's easy for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cardi B. Whoa! Cardi B. Cardi B was the most overrated person to you? Yes, to me. Like, okay. Like, I appreciate her coming from being a stripper. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She hustled. Right. I'm not knocking Work her hustle ass at all. Off. Work the ass off. If we're talking about work ethic, oh, she's dope. But when we're talking about song quality and stuff, to me, it sounds like she just started rapping. Okay. And she sounds horrible to me. Like, uh, I like the beat, the the, the beat with uh, 21 Savage, the Barty Air Cardi. Barty Cardi. Yeah, I like the beat. Yeah. I don't like what the fuck she's saying. I think she stole that song anyway. I heard a reference. Oh, shit. Uh, you heard the reference? Uh, it's not a reference track, but a girl, another female artist put out a song, and it sounds identical. I well, swear to God. God damn it, Cardi. Uh, but, shit. okay, Cardi B. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. I got two most overrated artists of this year. Okay. To me, personally, mm-hmm. yeah. Drake. I mean, <laughs> just being honest, man. More he li- said it this time. Hey, to come out more here. life was trash. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it was hey. trash. You know it was trash. I know it was trash. Drake know it was trash. That's why he didn't submit it for the Grammys. He hey. said that himself. Hey, yeah, you got it. More life was trash. Okay. Uh, I mean, it was so trash, people forget it even came out. I did, honestly. I forgot. I'm not trash. Gonna lie. And yeah. then, on top of that, Second most overrated artist, Dave East. To me, <laughs> listen, bro. To me, <laughs> niggas want New York to be back so, so bad, bad mm. that anybody that's like decent, they take them, they put them in the forefront, and and, and go off, and with just it. act yeah. like he the return of Nas. Like he's just not special to me. I mean, yeah. I, he he decent at yeah. best, but I mean he's not he's not New York savior like they're trying to make him. Yeah, and I mean, I can come kind of somewhat agree with that a tad bit. I have I've heard some of his stuff, but yeah, I but, mean, it's it's not it's not that it's bad. It's just not great. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like, know what you're saying. Yeah, let me be great. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. So good. That that was pretty good, right yeah. there. All right. So now we talked about the music. 
I want to get into more of the entertainment aspect of this combo right now. The hottest TV shows of the year from the culture, all gotcha. right? Not nobody else, but gotcha. from the culture. All right, so my top three. Now, I'm not a TV guy, and I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I'm talking about what garnered a lot of attention on okay. social media and, you know, things that we talk about with our age range and everything, uh, these are the top shows I saw. Power. Okay. Insecure. Okay. And The Quad. I hated the quiet, but the first two, I'm with you. Okay. Yeah, my girl loves Insecure. I've seen like four or five episodes watching it with her. But yeah, I tried to, but it was just like I mean. Well, I mean, it's not a very manly show See, to watch by I, yourself. They thought somebody thought I was crazy for no, saying no, that. No, 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 no. It's it's. I mean, to me, it's basically the girl version of ATL. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I watch it with my girl. It's a dope show. I see why she likes it. Yeah. It's not my personal cup of tea. Right. My hottest shows of the year: mm -hmm. Power. Okay. And Curveball, Blackish. I don't know if y'all seen Blackish yeah, or not. Yeah, I heard. Yo, Blackish that. deal with a lot of real issues mm -hmm. in a very exaggerated but hilarious yeah. way. The cast, man, <laughs> like I, I love the the grandma is my favorite character on the show. She's yeah. throwed off, throwed all the way off. And I wish I could say the Carmichael show, but I'm not sure if they had new episodes this year. I, uh, you know, I I couldn't get into it, bro. Like I really? tried, man. The buddy's just not funny to me. It, he had a dry. I like dry humor. And to me, he was very dull, but it was just... I, I'm a goofy dude. At the I moment. mean, I get that, too. Yeah. I yeah. Just, uh, just... It yeah. just didn't work for me. I mean, I, I appreciate it. I would never say that amongst non-blacks. Just right. to be honest. But <laughs> right, 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 right. The shit just didn't work for me, man. But, yeah. you know. Okay. Well, on. Fair enough, fair enough. Which leads to my next thing. We already talked about TV shows, right? Okay. All right, so let's get into the hottest movies from the culture this year. Talk to me. Number one. and this it's, it's not a particular order, but this is my number one, really. Okay. Get Out. Okay. When I first saw that uh, preview, I was like, man, like this shit look like it's really going to be good. But then when I actually went to see it, it did what Birth of a Nation should have did. Did that come out this year? Pen. Birth I, of a Nation? Was that this year or last year? I can't remember. I can't remember. Was it last year? I can't remember. All right. We'll, we'll have to research. Right, right, anyway, we'll, we'll get out. Shout out to Jordan Peele for that. Next, we have Detroit. Okay. Detroit was a real good movie. I didn't know really what it was going to be about. Okay. But it was like a horror, a horror black movie. Right. It was, it was cool to actually go look at it in the movie. So I got to... Some crazy shit happened when I went to see Detroit. Okay. It was so fucking cold in the movie theater, dog. <laughs> I am not bullshitting you. Yeah. I couldn't even stay to watch it, so I never even saw Detroit. I'm gonna okay. go, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it's it. It's on Redbox. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it in Redbox. I'm gonna pop some popcorn, get some cocoa, me yeah. and my girl gonna watch it. Sit down and watch it. Dog, Detroit, I'm gonna watch it. Cause I'm a historian, so I know the story. Yeah. I've just never seen I never got a chance to see the movie. Okay. Get out though. Oh yeah. man. That's Man, it was so many hidden messages in that movie, but it was it was so dope. We have Marshall. I liked Marshall. I uh, didn't see that. Man, I didn't, you tripping, man. I didn't like the, the previews for it. Plus, I know the story. Again, I'm a historian. Yeah. Like, that's one of the reasons why I like the Nat Turner movie. I don't know if it came out this year or not, but if it did, yeah. excellent movie. Yeah. But it was just like, I like stories that's not, like, overly pop popularized. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because... Man, Thurgood Marshall, like, I'm not discrediting nothing he did yeah. ever would I ever discredit that man. Yeah. But we already know that story. Like, he I was see, yeah. he was the, the safe Negro. So, yeah. like, that's all they... That's all we know about. I like the Nat Turner story because it was just different. Yeah, it was different. Yeah. Then this movie, and I feel what you're saying on that, but I think from just like just going to see a movie, right. that was a great ass story. Okay. Line. I mean, so, I can't argue with that. Yeah, try to see Marshall. Shout out to Chad Bosman, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's in every movie. He plays every uh, African American right. uh, historical figure. I heard he playing Rosa Parks in the movie. They got <laughs> coming <All right>. out. <laughs> so, no, funny with <laughs> so, Speaking of Rosa Parks, yeah. whatever happened to them Harriet Tubman twins while we on the subject of. That is a good question. I, I, of I don't the know. culture. Donald Trump came in and said, Hey, no, Trump. Man. He pulled the plug. I need them Harriet Tubman 20s, <laughs> dog. I need them 20s. Anyway. So, so let's move on. Next, uh, I didn't see the movie, but I know a lot of females saw Girls Trip. I uh, didn't see it either. I didn't see it. Like, uh, But I, I know for the culture, it was pretty good. My uh, mom liked it. That's the, but that's so, all that matters. My right. mama liked it too. Right. She so that's what matters. That's what matters. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, next we have a lot of people in the Divine Nine didn't like this movie. Okay. I did. I'm a member of Divine Nine myself. Cap off side. Okay. Eternity Incorporated. All right. But Burning Sands. Move five move. <laughs> <laughs> Burning Sands. Uh, that was on Netflix. It's still on there now. Okay. Um, all I'm gonna say is just go see it. Uh, yeah. Next, my last one is 1804, The History of Haiti, The Hidden History of Haiti by Tariq Nasheed. Okay. It's basically just talking about, like, a lot of people don't like to give Haiti the attention it deserves 
from uh, the black people, they were actually not going to be enslaved. They right. said, fuck it, and took their country back. You know, they're in the position they're at now, but it's a very good movie to see for black people, right. just for us to have some self-worth in ourselves. So, oh, I forgot a story one. And check it out. I don't know if this was a movie or a series, Time, the Khalif Browder story. Did you see that? No, I didn't. About the kid that was locked up in New York? Bro. Well, that's yeah. on Netflix? It's on Netflix now. Oh, okay. I, I saw a glimpse of that. I Yo, think. listen. Yeah, if yeah. you didn't see that, go see that. That didn't was Jay Z produced okay. it. That's yeah, why yeah, yeah, it's yeah, 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 for yeah, the yeah. culture. Yeah, 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 listen, yeah. if you didn't see that, yeah. go see that. The justice system is fucked up. All Free way. all my niggas locked up, except for the ones that did it. Right. Y'all need to do y'all time. I still yeah. love y'all, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, since we got the movies out the way and okay. stuff. Uh, I want to talk about what we have to look forward to in the new year. Uh, 2018 is, is upon us, and really it's current right now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, two days? Yeah, just, just a couple of days okay. or whatever. By the time this drop, it'll already be here. But anyway, uh, what to look out for next year as far as entertainment goes? I'm going to start with the artist. The artist that I'm going to start with to look forward to is Drake, Aubrey Graham. Okay. All right, he's looking pretty good. I heard him on that Dedication 6 track heard it. with Lil Wayne family. He bought it. He, he bought it. it. And he it sounded like he wrote his verse. Yeah, the writing versus Drake, you know what I'm saying? See, the thing about Drake is people think I don't like Drake. That's not true. They say I like his music. Mm -hmm. I just want him to rap. That's, That's all. You know what I mean? like, is that all? Because people, because my this is my and my plight is not really even with Drake. It's with his fans. Yeah. They crown him the best rapper alive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he don't even got a rap album. Exactly. But we're not going anyway. Moving on. Yeah, moving on. Right. I have a whole episode right, right, dedicated right. to yeah, go to watch the, go watch the last go episode. Back. Okay. All right. So J Cole. Well, the reason I'm saying J. Cole is because usually at towards the end of every every two years, okay. he'll come out with a, uh, a now his last album I, I wasn't a fan of, yeah, uh, like a couple of songs. I but slept through it anyway. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so J. Cole, I'm looking for him probably December 2018 going to 2019. Next, I have Offset. The reason I say Offset yeah. to me, let me hear this. If I mean I'm not a Migos fan, but I like some of their their songs. Okay. And to me, over time, he's became my favorite member. If I have to choose one, right. Takeoff is almost there, but Offset I like his style more. Okay. When they, when, you know when they first came out, Offset just sounded like a Migos nigga. He didn't sound right, 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 like right, right, a standout. Right, right. But this year, he did his thing. Yeah, like he did his yeah, thing. So I'm looking towards Offset. You think Cardi B got a lot to do with that? That's possible because if you notice on Joe uh, Button and Charlamagne, say thing, they said they have to put both of them together. Right, 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 right. But right. Offset is, yeah, I think that he, if he dropped maybe a solo joint or another collaborative right. uh, mixtape, I think he'll do pretty good. People, entertainers I'm looking for next year, definitely yeah. Drake because I feel like he knows what we all know, more mm -hmm. life is trash. <laughs> and so he going to actually put some effort into this next yep. project. Mm -hmm. I'm also looking forward to... There's an artist you might not have ever heard of him. Some of y'all haven't. His mm -hmm. name is Fifth Child. He's a local oh, artist. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's dropped. He's a, yeah. Well, not local. He's an independent, independent artist. Independent. Forgive me for saying local. And let me say that real quick. Yeah. It's a difference between local artists and independent artists. Yeah. I'm an independent artist myself, and you're only an independent artist if you put up your own money right. to put your album out so, in your music. So he's an independent artist. He's dropping an album next year. He's doing some dope stuff creatively. I'm not going to give out his secrets, yeah. but make sure you check for that. He's one of my favorite rappers, like, lyrically, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, lyrically, yeah. he's one of my favorite rappers. Shout out to Fifth Child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. And um, I think that's really about it, because, I mean, Hove dropped this year. That's yeah. my favorite rapper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nas, hopefully you you. So, anyway, moving right along, because Nas haven't been done, what, three yeah, years yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, what was yeah, that, three years ago yeah, he said yeah, that? Yeah, 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 Nas. Yeah, Nas. 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 You, you let me down, bro. Nas. Come on, man. We Come on. waiting, dog. We waiting. We, we been waiting. waiting. We been waiting. Since the DJ Khaled song. But anyway, Since the Khaled song. Anyway, last but not least, we're going to talk about the movies and TV shows that we're looking for, forward to next year. Okay. I don't know everything that's coming out, but these are uh, my picks right now for the culture. Talk Black to Panther is coming out in February. Going to see that. Uh, yeah, I got my outfit already ready to go see that. I'm wearing all black mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy leather. And just real quick, let me expound on that real quick. Just because... Black Panther was made by white people, and it actually was. Doesn't mean black people can't go support it. When Stan Lee originally made that character, he made it for black people. So right. I don't think it's like, it's a whole big thing of, oh, we're giving our money to the white folks. Well, right? I mean, I, the reason I'm going to support it is look at all the black people that didn't employ it. Right. I exactly. mean, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Stop man. that shit. Let's, let's stop. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop that. So Black stop. Panther in February, and I hope that Luke Cage... His series, uh, okay. the season two, I believe is coming in 2018. Okay. So, oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, green light. So uh, that's coming in 2018. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to drop, but I'm looking toward Luke Cage. Looking forward to that coming out. 
2018. Definitely looking forward to Black Panther. I know, okay. you know, it's shot right here in Atlanta. Yeah. A lot of my people are in that movie. Yeah. A lot of my associates, whether they extras or got a speaking role, I know a lot of people in that movie. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. definitely got to go support that. Yeah. And ATL is coming back. Oh, uh, yeah. Atlanta. The show Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's they, coming they back. Think ATL no, 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 not the city. Yeah, yeah the yeah, actual. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah, Actually, right. I did hear they're making an ATL too. too. Yeah, yeah. Which I hate, by the way. Me too. I hate that. I idea. did. Like, I'm I, like, I, no, no, no. Stop. 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 We need Friday. Right, right, uh, right. Last Friday. We don't need. Right. Only if Chris Tucker's coming back. All right. <laughs> but because yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave it at that. Only if Chris Tucker's coming back. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But Atlanta's coming back. Yeah. I need that in my life. Yeah. I okay. need that in my life. And I need new episodes of Blackish. Okay. That's my shit. Hey, so we got a lot of things to look forward to. And uh, one thing I can say real quick is I got some stuff in the works. I'm becoming a filmmaker. You know what I'm saying? And once too, we'll be dropping in 2018. So uh, anything that you got for it. Yeah, uh, I'm coming up. I'm dropping a mixtape in February. It's okay. an R&B mixtape, so we're gonna drop it right around Valentine's R&B Day. R&B mixtape. This artist named Kellen. Shout out my dog Kellen. Mm-hmm. Again, we're working on Fifth Child's project. Oh man, I wish I could. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have to send, I'm gonna have to play some stuff for y'all. Fifth yeah, gonna yeah. be mad, yeah. but I'm gonna play it for y'all anyway. Stop emailing me stuff you don't <laughs> want me to share, Fifth. Oh man. And yeah, man, that's just it, man. Just life, man. You okay. Know? Okay. Well, I wish. Continue success to you, brother. Prosperous year. How can people find you on yeah, social media? So you can media find later. me on all social media at T H E E D J P M. That's at the D J P M. Hashtag let me be great. That mm-hmm. is everything I stand by. That is me. That's the brand. That's everything. Hey, appreciate you for having oh, me. Oh, yeah, bro. definitely. Appreciate bro. you. We got to do this more often. Hey, man, man anytime, man. I'm always ready, baby. I'm always okay. ready. All right, well, that wraps this year in wrap up of Red's View. Holler. Same old shit, just a different day. I'm clocking in and clocking out to keep the bills paid. Bills paid. At this nine to five, temporary lay. If you're not trying to live your dream, we are not the same. Same old shit, just a different day. I'm clocking in and clocking out to keep the bills paid. Bills paid. At this nine to five, temporary lay. If you're not trying to live your dream, we are not the same. Oh no, we are not the same. We don't have the same thought patterns. No. I'm trying to fly up to the sky while you climb the ladder. I'm on a different path while you staying in your lane. Instead of buying a ticket, I'd rather be on stage. You rather follow procedures while I would take a chance. I'd rather find a for myself and wondering what if you rather have a salary with 401k instead of 401k paying your salary